Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? <laughs> Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, pataya, and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Haha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left, the pataya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries, and pink like the flamingo or the pataya, <laughs> and like pops. Yay! Learning is so fun.
Johnny Johnny Yes Papa Eating sugar No Papa Telling lies No Papa Open your mouth Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies, no, Papa. Open your mouth. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to play at the beach. girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. I can't believe it. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish, haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? <coughs> they do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... a treasure. Whoa! <coughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. Haha, <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. Haha, <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? 
The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball. Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful spring day. Kids, look, a bunny. Is it the Easter Bunny? Are you ready for the Easter egg hunt for all the kids? Wow, what a weird machine. Is it to paint the eggs? One, two, three, four, and five. There are five eggs. And what colors will they be? Red, yellow, blue, pink, and golden. It's the golden Easter egg, the most difficult to catch. Let's hide the eggs. Red one inside the bush. Yellow one hmm, behind the tree. Hmm. 
and the pink one behind the mound of stones. Haha, <laughs> great! Ready to play? Groovy's found an egg! Do you think it's a dinosaur egg? No, Groovy! It's an Easter egg! The Easter Bunny has hidden surprise eggs! Wow, a police car! The Easter egg hunt has started. Let's find all of them. Groovy's found an egg! There was a fire truck inside the red egg. And the rest of them? Where are they? The yellow one. Can you see it, kids? Tell Groovy where it is. That's it. The yellow egg was behind the tree. So cool! A yellow excavator toy. Kids? Do you see the pink egg? I know where it is. <laughs> no, Groovy, not there. The pink egg is behind that mound of stones. Cool, a racing car. There's one surprise egg left to find. The golden egg. Look, there it is. Catch it. Groovy has transformed into a superhero. Sure, he will be able to catch it now. You almost have it. Come on, Groovy. Great idea, Phoebe. Ha! <laughs> Phoebe was faster than you. Wow! A chocolate surprise egg! You deserve it! What a great teamwork! And what cool toys! Shall we go over what colors they are? The fire truck is... Exactly! Red! The excavator is... Yellow! The police car is, that's it, blue. The race car is pink. Don't eat too much chocolate and enjoy the spring.
wish the wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through town. The people on the bus go chat, 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 chat. The people on the bus go chat, chat, chat all through town. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep. Why so bored? Let's go out and play. We can learn to count. It's gonna be fun. Okay, kids, let's learn to count. One. There is one, Groovy. And one, Phoebe. What else? One dog? That's it. Next, two. There are two. Exactly, flowers. One and two. Very good. Let's see. What's the next one? Three. Perfect. One, two, three. That's it. Next number is four. Right there. There are four penguins. One, two, three, four. Cool. Which one is next, kids? Ha ha ha, exactly! Five! Five baby sharks! One, two, three, four, and five! Next number, six. Look to the sky. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Come on, Phoebe, you have to pick up seven ducks on time. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, oh, <laughs> seven. To count to eight, I have an idea. Hey, Groovy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's count up to nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> and ten. How much fun! Do you think you remember all the numbers? It's your time to count by yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good! That's the way I like it, kids, to wash your teeth after every meal. With a little bit of toothpaste is enough. Be careful, Pops. You're going to create a magic portal. Groovy? Oh, a baby dinosaur. Hello, baby. Don't cry. Groovy, please transform yourself into something. Something that babies like. I do not know. A pacifier. Groovy? Look at your steak, Groovy. You're full of dinosaur slime. What do you say, Pops? Yes, okay. Children, Pops is right. Our little friend has sneaked into the present through a magic portal. We have to travel back in time to find their parents. Is that all right, little dino? Pops, please open the magic portal. Ready for a time-traveling adventure? arrived. Welcome to the Jurassic. It turns out that before humans, the Earth was inhabited by these huge dinosaurs. What do you think? <laughs> Groovy, we need a vehicle to escape. No, Groovy, no. Something that goes faster. Run! They are T-Rex, the most dangerous dinosaurs! Good! We've given him the slip. We'd better find the parents of our little friend. This Jurassic is dangerous for a human. Two Martians and a voiceover. And now what? Oh no, another dinosaur is coming. Luckily, he has come to help us. It's a harmless Triceratop. Oh, it's your mom. What a happy coincidence. Well, kids, problem solved. He can come back to present. This must be his dad. Oh, poor, he has a Flemigan. Of course, as at this time, they did not wash their teeth. It is normal that it hurts. Groovy, could you help him? <laughs> circles, circles, up and down, three times a day, and smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Kids, not so fast. What are you forgetting? Right, you have to brush your teeth. Remember, to the dentist you won't go if you wash your teeth more. 
Phoebe loves her new dinosaur book. Groovy, do you know what dinosaurs are? Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Some of them were herbivores, and others were carnivores. But all of them were born from an egg. Would you be able to guess what dinosaur the egg is from? Pops, do you want to play the guess which dinosaur is this egg from? Hmm, Pops, what are you up to? Pops has opened a portal. Where does it go? Pops, have you brought us to the era of dinosaurs? We are at the Jurassic. Wait, kids. This can be very dangerous. Phew. At least we have Groovy who can transform if we need it. This Brontosaurus seems very nice, though. Those T-Rex, not that much. Kids, look. What's that? It's a dinosaur egg, like the one of the book. And it's in danger. Groovy, you have to do something. Kids, we must save the egg. Groovy, you can. It's there. Oh, oh, run. Kids, how do you think they can do it? Pops, I have an idea. A pterodactyl, that's right. Now you can save it and take it back to its nest. Well done, kids. They're like the ones in your book, Phoebe. Do you want to keep playing? Well, what kind of dinosaur will they be? Brontosaurus? No, Phoebe, they can't be Brontosaurus egg. Brontosaurus are huge to live on top of this little hill. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, Groovy, they can't be from a T-Rex. T-Rex can't fly, and it would be too difficult for them to feed the babies. <laughs> That's it, Pops. It must be a dinosaur that can fly. Do you already know what dinosaur it is? Exactly. Pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, and they think that you are their mom. Oh, that's their real mom. She's very grateful. Good job, kids. Oh, wow. What a long day, kids. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano. 
<laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. What are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh, yes. Subscribe, kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.